just like a rumor that happened to really old people or in accidents which could never happen to you because you know uh, and everything smelled fresh and unpolluted at least in your young nose and there were no problems no troubles at all you would probably live forever, you would always have your friends and you would always be happy and have fun. Then for many people, for most of you, I guess, <laughs> you met that special someone and uh, you got married, you got a job, you uh, knew, you know what the day is to expect. You go to work, you do your thing, you come home to your family and you repeat day after day. And that's nothing wrong with that. Most people do this. I never left and I don't know why. I, I, I have no idea. It might be something wrong with my 
brain. Uh, I never left that feeling of adventure waits around the corner and nothing could really happen to me and in some way I stayed like a teenager in my head. But on the other hand, I, it, it, I, I'm not. It's so, so, so hard to explain. I still feel, you know, when weekend comes on, I feel, I still feel that like energy burst, like, oh, I'm gonna meet my friends, we're gonna have fun. Then I realize, no, <laughs> that doesn't happen anymore. Uh, uh, because you're old, you can't move, you can't leave the island because of your panic attacks and anxiety. And besides, you know, your friends can be counted on one hand. Most people don't understand what you do. Many people have like disappeared from my, from my life because, I don't know, life has made us split up. It's not their fault, it's my, my, not my fault, it just happens, it happens to everyone. Uh, and then a big sadness hits me because sometimes I feel like it's just me and my dog Nasse left. Uh, you know, my sister died, I have three sisters, but the other two are on the side that, that they not really understand me at all. Uh, they have a hard time grasping anything I do more or less. So my sister passed away, the one that actually understood me. I lost my two pet dogs or family members, Rocky and Loppy. I only have Nasse left. I'm 48 years old, which I know many people say isn't old, but I still, I feel ancient sometimes. I feel tired and really, really, really old. Uh, what am I going with this? I, I, I really don't know. I just wanted to take to express myself, to let you know a little bit about me. And uh, I also know how hard it is to be like this. I had no thought about starting like a YouTube channel when I was young. There were no YouTube channels when I was young. How am I, who am I kidding? There was hardly any internet. It wasn't any internet. Not for the public means, anyway. <laughs> but um, I can tell you this, and they don't understand, so I don't blame them. But I have no support from my family when it comes to this. They don't understand. They think I'm fooling around or act immature, and I am immature. I will always be that. Uh, because someone asked me, aren't you going to grow up? And I don't know what that means. If grow up means that you start to worry about things, then yes, I have grown up. Uh, I worry about the economy all the time. I worry about my health. I have, I have a very bad hypochondria at, on top of everything else. Uh, so yes, in that way I have grown up, I guess. I worry about my mom because I can try to take care of her. I worry about Nasi because he's old. And frankly, I have no clue what I'm going to do when I lose him because then I have nothing left, really. And that's actually pretty much the truth. I have mom, but she can take care of herself. Nasi is the only one that I need to care for in a way. Uh, so yes, in, in a way, sure, I have grown up, if that's so important, I don't think it is. Uh, I think the most important thing is to be, try and be kind and try not to hurt other people without any cause. 
uh, that's what I think is most important, you know, and and uh, there's also this thing, you know, if you have a mental illness, I think you can pretty much uh, identify with what I'm going to say. You know, even even my sisters think I'm lazy because I can't hold the work. They they can't like put themselves in the situations where your body stops to function and you become more or less a yellow spot on the floor. One of my friends understood a little bit when he's in construction works and I told him, would you really like me to work with you? Uh, imagine if we are like 10 stories up on planks with nothing but a, you know, and we carry this huge, huge uh, thing between us. And all of a sudden, my brain tells me that I'm having a heart attack. So I just drop this thing, fall down and just scream for help. Would you really want me to <laughs> work with you? And he said, no. So he understood, kind of. But it's hard when it doesn't show. But... Uh, about growing up and take responsibility. I don't know. I will always be a teen in my brain, I think, hoping for the best in some capacity. And always on summer days feel that energy of youth in my body. Even though I have to realize that nothing is going to happen, really. Uh, but on the other hand, if I lose that thing, to feel that way, to, to believe that there is some magic in this world somewhere, I don't know, if I lose that, then my soul will die. And I don't know, I think soul death is worse than actual physical death. To become numb, to become, I don't know. So what, I wanna, so what do I want to say with this rant? I don't know, you be the judge. I might be saying that it's okay to be you, even if no one else really does. And maybe it's okay to not grow up, even if it can end badly. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I just wanted to make this little expression, express myself to you guys. I get self-doubts, and I guess you guys get too. Sometimes it feels like I'm a half-ass guy. <laughs> uh, yeah, it really does. It feels like, you know, I, try, I, I, I tried a lot of things. I tried construction work, and I failed completely because of my anxiety and stuff. So I, I don't know if that counts, really. I try to, uh, I'm trying to do ASMR on this channel, I'm kind of half-ass doing it, not not personally, <laughs> this is so weird, uh, I mean, I'm not popular, but I'm not totally unpopular, you know, because you guys seem to love what I'm doing. I try to do art. And half ass again, you know. I'm not, I'm not popular or anything, but mm -hmm. people seem to appreciate what I do. The ones who actually see it. So I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that's okay too, to to not be totally successful and just. I don't know. I think. 
what I'm doing works in some capacity. I'm taking one day at a time. I don't expect to die tomorrow or anything like that, but I don't have any high expectation of, you know, Mm -hmm. That phone, man. One day I'm gonna have an outburst and just crack it open. Anyway, I don't know where I'm going with this. I don't know if I'm even gonna upload it, but... I just wanted you to, like... Know a little bit about me and how I think and how I work and... uh, Yeah, how I am. That's the duke for you. I want you to stay strong even if you don't feel like you can be strong, but try, try. And uh, I love you guys. You give my half-ass existence some kind of meaning. Uh, Okay, Uh, I'm going to publish my new video and I will see you in the next video. Which will be this one. No, no, Ah, never mind. Just babbling. All right. Remember, there can't be any light without darkness, and I will see you in the next video.